In this screencast, we'll look at some of the basics of Geometer's Sketchpad, or GSP, and learn how to draw intervals, like I have done here to create this quadrilateral, and also circles, and also learn how to add grids, like we've done here, uh, to the display. So first of all, to locate Geometer's Sketchpad on your computer, I have a, an icon on my desktop, but you might need to go via the Start menu, and hopefully there'll be an icon there for you. So. Uh, however you get there, it's a good idea to maximise the screen twice to make the most of the space that we have. Down the left hand side, there are a number of icons that are quite important to you. The second one is called the Point Tool, and just clicking anywhere on the screen creates points for you. The fourth one down is the Straight Edge Tool, and if you click and then hold down your, your, mouse, your left mouse key, uh, drag it across and then uh, let go, you can see that a, an interval is drawn. You can do the same thing by using the points that are already here. So click, hold down and then release. And notice when one point gets close to the other, it becomes blue. Uh, if you release then, those two points will uh, coincide. So they won't be next to each other, they will actually be the same point. So doing that four times, we now have the whole uh, quadrilateral shape created. Now notice the last side that I created is still highlighted. Uh, it becomes important for what we do later to unhighlight things. So if you go to the selection arrow tool and just click anywhere on the screen, that will unhighlight uh, whatever was highlighted. And just by clicking on anything, that will then highlight them again. So there we go, let's unhighlight them. If you'd like to change the display, uh, you can change things like the, uh, the color of them. Uh, so to do that, you'd highlight whatever you want changed and choose some of the things here, but I don't actually like to change all side lengths. So I'm going to hold down Shift and then click on all four of those while Shift is held down. Then if I choose Display, I can change the line width to whatever I'd like and I can change the colour to uh, anything that I'd like as well. There we go. Now the dynamic nature of um, the Geometer Sketchpad program means that we can, uh, again with the arrow tool chosen, select any of the vertices of the shape that we've created and as we drag them around, the shape changes dynamically. That's a great advantage of this program. All right, let's have a look at how to create circles. Perhaps we should open a new sketch. So we've got a blank canvas and creating circles is very simple. Choose the circle tool click and hold down and a circle will be created and when you release that's going to be the radius of the circle. And just like before we can change the, the look of those by uh, making choices in the display as we did before. And the final thing to notice about uh, Geometry Sketchpad is in order to create a grid on your screen, if you go to Graph, choose Grid Form and then Square Grid you'll get uh, a number plane, like you're probably familiar with in class. If you grab the origin, sorry, we need to go to the select arrow key, and click anywhere. Grab the origin, you can drag uh, your whole number plane around anywhere you'd like. And if you click and drag on this point, you can change the size of the scale. There you go, there's a few basics to do with Geometer's Sketchpad. 